Hello everyone. Welcome to Learn to Code. We're going to generate a solution for the problem adding a new command. Adding a new command is the second activity in the Learn to Code 1 commands chapter. So let's get started today. Uh, first thing we're going to do is look at the goal again which says combine move and turn commands to collect the gem. So this puzzle is like the last one, but this time Byte needs to turn left to reach the gem. So let's take a look and let's zoom in on the puzzle this time. And sure enough, it looks like uh, that we're going to have to, in order to reach this gem and collect it, we're going to have to take a path that moves up the stairs, straight ahead, move forward, and then turn left and move forward some more to collect the gem. So we can do that, uh, especially because uh, this time we're adding a new command to our sets of commands. So I'm going to just uh, type the review with you the commands we already know. So you don't need to type this, but uh, move forward, move forward, we know that command. We also from last time know the command collect gem like gem okay and we're adding a new one here today which is this command right here turn left so let's write that one down as well turn left okay turn left so these are the commands we have to work with so let's have a look at each of these commands they are uh, if you notice there's two words in each one of the commands there's move forward in this command, there's collect gem, and in this one, there's turn left. And if you think about these commands, they all have something in common in that the first word, move, collect, and turn, are all action words. Those are all action words, and they're followed by words that describe the action. For example, in the move and turn, well, uh, we're telling what direction do we want to move and what direction do we want to turn. And for the collect um, action, we're asking, you know, what do we want to collect? In this case, it's collect gem. Now, the way these commands are made up then is those two words are just smashed together. They're smashed together, but we can tell still, and it makes it fairly easy to read these two words because um, while the very first letter is lowercase in each one of these commands, a lowercase m and move forward, the first letter of the second word is, is capitalized or is uppercase. So it says move forward. Same thing with collect gem. The, the collect is lowercase and gem is capitalized. And the second word in turn left is also capitalized. We call this, um, you know, there is such a thing as lowercase uh, words and there are uppercase words. We call this camel case uh, because uh, we get a little hump in the middle of each word where the second word starts and it is uppercase. So that's called camel case in computer science. So we often use camel case to write our names like uh, commands here. Um, and uh, we'll keep doing that as time goes on, even if we ever make our own commands. So uh, let's turn our attention now to the puzzle. And it looks like for this puzzle, we're going to need to move forward two places, have byte move forward two places, and then turn left. So let's write that code first. I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of this by pressing the delete key, and I'm going to get rid of my collect gem. And I'm going to, again, we're going to start by moving forward two times. Move forward, move forward, and um, now we need to turn left. And let's see how many times will we have to move forward now that we're turned left to get to the next gem. Looks like one, two more move forwards. One, two more move forwards. So let's try that. Move forward. Move forward again. Okay. 
let's have a look at this here. Uh, move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward. Now, we've got a little red dot here next to one of my commands. Let me press on that here. It says, oops, you have an error. Check your code to around this line to try to fix it. And then it says the error is use of unresolved identifier move forward. Okay. Um, it's asking me, do, did you mean move forward? So this uh, Swift Playgrounds is smart enough to know that you don't have a command called move forward without the A in it, uh, and that you probably mistyped it and you meant move forward. So I can go ahead and fix that if I just press the fix button. Okay, so I pressed fix, and the little red uh, dot went away here. So we call that in computer science a syntax error. That means we somehow made a mistake or messed up our syntax, our Swift syntax. Lots of times, you know, you might uh, have a typo or you spell something wrong, and that will give you a syntax error. Uh, let's run this, and let's see if we can see a different kind of error here. So I'm going to run the code. There goes Byte. He's moving forward. He's moving forward, turning left, move forward, move forward, and we... Hmm, Byte's not dancing. He's not... Uh, we didn't successfully solve this puzzle uh, because we didn't collect the gem. And in order to solve this puzzle, we need to have collected the gem. So this is a second type of error here. Uh, this one we call a semantic or a logic error. And the logic error is one that says, well, Byte did everything he was told to do, uh, but unfortunately that sequence of commands was not quite right or not quite complete to solve the uh, problem that we're trying to do. So this logic error, this one's going to be pretty easy to do, uh, to fix, um, because we can just look and say, well, he's right there under the gem. What do we need to do to fix this? Well, we need to add a collect gem. So let's go ahead and open up our keyboard here and type in collect gem and add our parentheses and let's run the code one more time. Whenever you run the code, byte starts back at the beginning. And then move forward, move forward, turn left, move forward, move forward, collect gem, and there he goes. Now byte's happy. All right, good job everyone. So let's review what we uh, learned this time. First of all, there's a new command, the turn left command. So now we have three commands that Byte can do. And the other thing that we learned was that there is uh, the way we write commands in Swift is we use something called camel case, where we start a command with a lowercase letter, and every word we use after that, that are jammed together, we uh, make it uppercase at the end, so that there are some, there may be one or more uppercase uh, letters inside your commands, but the beginning of the command always starts with lowercase. So these are called camel case uh, names. All right, see you next time.